This is the Computer Electronics Show 1990. January 1990. Yes, I'll find it. I don't know if it's really. One, two, three. Carol! Wave or something. Oh, you can't wave yet. Now she can be mobile. Now you can wave. There you go. This is but what is really neat about the photopolymer is that because of the type of film it is, it views well under fluorescence or any lighting situation. And um, so that's why they're real excited. Gary Zellerback and the people at Holy Scale are really excited now to have something that's really the same price as summer halides always been, um, but it's much better. It's good quality. Yeah. How, how new is this technology? This is a technology that um, we've been in the business of Clark for over 20 years ago. In fact, we invented in Boss Telegraphy 20 years ago. Um, but it's only been in the last year that we've really developed this product yeah. before. Materials for you to use in store. I know you'll be really enthusiastic about that. Uh, before you leave the booth today, I want you to check out at the other end of the booth. We have the Canon Zapshot camera. You can get a photograph of yourself around the track. The Canon High Eight camera. Here you are. Okay. Uh, the picture is coming off of it. Okay. Stay on the, on the trigger now. It's still up. Oh, here comes Orange. Orange is taking the lead in the second lap. Orange is coming around and hugging the track, but Red is pulling out. Now we have Red. Oh, it's, t it's close, folks. It's really close. Orange is just barely ahead. It's two laps down. Okay, here comes Red. Your own is going to be and uh, we're going to use the MDI 30 to do it. Uh, first thing he's going to do is he's going pencil. to access the metronome function of the MDI 30. And that way, as he does his multi-track recording, each layer of the music will always be in time with the layer prior to it. And that's the metronome. Here's Dale. Dale. It's actually a signal that's the device. Dale, turn around. Wait. Yep. Turn around. I want the, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to record the bass part of the song that he's going to do. That's going to make me wave. I hate to wave. All right, don't wave. Stick out your tongue then. Don't get Carol. And there's Carol in the crowd. Get that rust going through the room. He'll start recording. We're at the press luncheon. And... Is this autofocus, I hope? I see you in there. Yes, it is autofocus. And it was really crowded today. Video equalizer. 
Triple Plus Video Equalizer. And it comes with various built-in fonts and graphics, such as these. of uh, VCR Review. I don't know you. Hi there. <laughs> and hi, Robert. And I'm Linda. Oh yeah, we got to take a video of you. And you're a friend too? <laughs> and then press that red button. You're running. I'm running, and it's a video of me. Here we are at the press room, exhausted after a full day of walking. Take a show the press room. One of us is going to tell the rest of us that we're going to be a little bit late. Infamous press room. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you see this? All right, take care. Thanks again. Thanks. Oh, we got one somewhere. Gift. A free gift. Well, it's Cassie and it's my little computer. I'm a little calculator. Here we are in the lobby of the Mirage with Ray Glasser and his friend. And I'm sorry, your name? What was your name? Gary. Gary. His friend Gary.
The timer has a 5 minute auto repeat alarm with a countdown graphic display. Other features are a slide rule bezel, 12 24 hour format, one one hundredth of a second stopwatch, hourly time signals, and a daily alarm. Now, if Josh on the board slapped the cop in LA at the same time that Leona Helmsley failed to pay taxes in New York, who would end up in jail first? The DW400 also has a countdown alarm, slide rule bezel, one one hundredth of a second stopwatch, daily alarm, and hourly time signals. The AW21U features both digital and analog timekeeping. Oh, analog timekeeping? Does that mean it's analog retentive? The watch also gives world time for 29 times. We're now outside the Mirage Hotel looking at their big pool and water ball section.
see the big picture of Samsung's IDTV. There's just one trouble. I came over to take a look at it. The first day it had a bad video disc, but today it's a live picture. It does look very good. A little more resolution, I would say. That's, uh, that's not it. Oh, that's not it. Did that looks pretty good. Hold on a second. Okay, this is the IDTV, and you know, guess what, gang? The other one looked better. The color isn't so very. The color definitely is off, and uh, that one has more blooming of colors. But yeah, I guess the resolution is. Well, maybe this does look better. It's so hard. Okay. Well, I don't know. You know what? I can't tell which I like better. The other one has uh, the color setting is more correct. This is off. And I wanted information on this IDTV, but guess what? They don't have anybody here who knows any information about the, about the uh, IDTV. Uh, what a way to sell a product is my And let you come in here and sit down and yeah, I did, uh, film me so I could see myself later. They gave me. It's remarkable. I'm real close. 3D. <laughs> it's Ugly George going away from us. Well, you can move closer. Yeah, watch my. There is Ugly George. <laughs> And there is Mark Kearns taping Ugly George, who is wandering around the convention. You got Mark getting him with Yeah. There is Mark talking to... Okay, here we go. Mark showing him 3D pictures. Here's Randy. Sold me my laser disc player. I'll record. So what kind of, there's a device, say that again. There is a device that will drain your battery after you've used it for just a few minutes so you don't have to uh, destroy your battery by recharging it again, you know, with some stuff, you know, power still on it. Uh-huh. Which is real nice. They're, they're not expensive. And he's not really Gary. Huh? No, he's not yeah. Gary Herman. But it drains it real fast now. No. It doesn't take an hour to drain the battery. It drains it in just a couple of minutes or three minutes or something like that. So we're draining it all the way. You may be able to rebuild up some batteries if you like. Oh, and we're in the press room, and here are press kits. All along the walls. It's not a tape of what I sell. It's a demo tape. Oh, you to sit down. Okay. All right. Let me call. Is it, is it okay if I show it to you? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's Art. Hi, Art. Hello. Hi, Art. Hi, Art. I already took your picture of 3D Art. And here we are. Behind him, hey. talking to Ray Glasser. That's Marcus. He just waved. There he is. What happened to my focus? Yeah. Do you know who's here? No, who? Jack. Jack Nicholson. Jack. Hey, Jack here. Cool. It's Jack. Hey, great to meet you. Oh, hey. hi. How you I doing? I thought I'd meet you after the show in my room with some table tennis panels. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see you in the video age. You know, I still use Polaroid pictures when I hang out with the broads. I'm not up to the Rob Low speed. Let me catch a Laker game. <laughs> Your battery's dying. Yeah, I know. It's saying sucker. Bye, Mark. We'll see you at 5.30 over there. Oh. And here's Eric. Yeah. Eric. 
yesterday. Uh, Randy, it was spread. It's in you. And here we go. Uh, so okay, you're on. Okay, there you go. Say that again. Well, it's your big move with the prison and bad research. I paid you all that money. Well, it was like this. I was in Japan about a month ago, and I hope that's one of those cameras that helped me make my two and a half million. And Linda, I'd like to ask you what you're doing after the show because you see, I haven't had a lot of action lately because mommy is still just saying no. <laughs> And guess what? We have another entire room full of things. This is what it's like to be at the convention. We just keep walking right through, following people, getting lost, and glancing hither and yon. Cinema Verite. It looks like I'm having a new I'm much better than I wish I had a few more hairs in this room. <laughs> Plus, my ties never look that good, and you missed the sweat on my upper lip. <laughs> Who else did you do? Well, let me tell you. Kind of looks like 1961 when I was doing that picture with Jimmy Stewart, the man who shot Liberty Balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R Ransom, num number eight, R Ransom P. Stoddard, attorney at law. <laughs> you, 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 you know, well, well, you better get yourself a gun because you look like a tenderfoot to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's cheaper than, a little higher this man. <laughs> actually, uh, actually, uh, actually uh, more expensive than me. You know, that's just way who needs him when, you, when you've got the legs of a Jay Leno? Yeah, you know, uh, when you've got a Jay Leno type of thing, you need to get a big chin, you know? And all you have to do is go through a major newspaper and uh, start talking about the uh, different stories happening here. Do you want them to read out? <laughs> yeah, we can read out. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go find more. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be back uh, back back in just one minute. <laughs> Officer, I can't wait. Ah, yeah. uh, but the strawberry that's where I had. From Water Room Key, the icebox did it just night. I had a proof that key we had to pull the cane out of action. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Casey Kasem, last year he was uh, he was on this Gail UC morning show, which he does voices for here in town. And Joe Namath stopped by the station. And Namath tried to pull a fast one by asking him, as he was doing with Nixon, why he was on Nixon's enemies last year, years earlier. And he immediately, you know, you know, I just fired back and turned ourselves Let's see, Joe. Well, you know, I just fired back and turned Joe. I said, pardon me for saying so, you're a great quarterback. You're a halfway decent announcer. You do have bad news, but you don't know about a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. 
his the name of this light out because he was in another room in the studio. I had the camera and showed him. It's a classic piece. We, we, were, we were discussing that Nixon in China opera that was going around. Did you happen to catch that? Did you know the opera? I'm serious about this. This is the the opera. So we did the, you know, we did the. One day, a long time ago, I was the president. I wrote the book. I'm not a drunk. Oh, tape it, tape it, put it on cassette. Real to a real show. That you won't forget about the crimes of Watergate, about the crimes of Watergate. There'll be no more no gaps because I'm using better tape. <laughs> <laughs> I said we should go to the memory exposed and see if we can sell them the old concept. Honestly, God. Listen, you guys should get in touch hey, with us. Yes, yes, yes. It's been, it's been a wonderful it. time. You, you, you got my. It's a marvelous scam, darling. She wanted to try it once. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you so much for the interview. Call my agent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who bores Carl off again? She's taking it. Who bores Carl off? Yeah. Why not? He's the board of Carl off. I'm off to the laboratory, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. You get a hang. You get a hang. Oh I like a bit about the phallic symbol. <laughs> that was it. Hey, to the doctor roots, I forgot to bring my dress to change. Terrific! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> oh, you're an animal! <laughs> I never saw your husband smile so much. Yep. He's coming closer, I can't wait. My name's Bill Bob. Yep. Down, down around, around Bonesville, you know. Go right here, my buddy. <laughs> we just bought some land down there. <laughs> yeah. We just, we've been, we've been running my newer place. Right, we're gonna be running. We're gonna be big in that methane gas. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make a killing, boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Just don't let the match. Whoo! That whole shooting match go out and get all over the place. Where did they get with us? Yeah. Use that in your next month. There, there, there's another four letter word that starts with F that I used to use with a lot of my ex-wives, but <laughs> we, we won't mention that. Uh, <laughs> Stay there, <actually. laughs> no, that's, that's it. The show is over with. Uh, I can only do so much for free. NBC is only paying me, it's paying me very little to appear here. Give him a buck. A buck? Ah. Very, very good. You, got, you got a buck? A, a oh, it's 20. <laughs> uh, hey, $20. Well, $20. Somebody will be here after this next message. <laughs> <laughs> Outside in the audio area. Big cars and big sounds. The section everyone to, everyone wants to see, the adult section. In the river, in the uh, Sahara Hotel, and here's Mark at the sitting next to Russ Meyer. There is Russ Meyer. Britt Morgan signing autographs. She's an actress and a writer. Also. Oh, there you are. There you are. And we're still in the adult section. Get to get that six times in. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need it? I'm not sure I need it. Signing autographs.